Tesla and Elon Musk are working very hard nearing the production of Tesla's 4680 battery cells that will have more range and more electricity dense. When might the world actually drive Tesla powered by the 4680? You know, friends, electric vehicle demand threatens to outstrip battery supply, kneecapping EV production and adoption, and delaying a climate critical switch from fossil fuels to electricity. This is why we need newer batteries, better batteries, and Tesla has the 4680 coming up and the question is when might the world actually drive Tesla's powered by the 4680 batteries. Um, uh, Lawrence Ulrich on Spectrum IEEE has an interesting article uh, talking about uh, Tesla's 4680 battery. I will have the link in the description of this video. He asks a question say, uh, uh, saying is Elon Musk back in production hell with Tesla's 4680 batteries and EV range anxiety hangs in the balance and ask the question when might the world actually drive Tesla's powered by the 4680 welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story and give us thumbs up please share in social media this report if you find it helpful so if you remember just a month ago or so on July 26, in a rare glimpse into progress and his company's purported game-changer battery, Tesla CEO Elon Musk was in true Muskian form, raising hopes and tempering expectations in one cryptic swoop. He said, we have successfully validated performance and lifetime of our 4680 battery cells produced at our Cato facility in California, you know, which is right across the Fremont factory. He said, we are nearing the end of manufacturing validation at Cato. Field quality and yield are at viable levels and our focus is now on improving the 10% of manufacturing processes that currently bottleneck production output. While substantial progress has been made, we still have work ahead of us before we can achieve volume production. Internal crash testing of our structural pack architecture with a single piece front casting has been successful. Now, I talked about this little bit in my previous report just today, so if you haven't seen it, please look for, for it in our channel. But the question still remains this, the, the, the issue. Electric vehicle demand threatens to outstrip battery supply, kneecapping EV production and adoption, and delaying a climate critical switch from fossil fuels to electricity. An electrode coating process using dry film linked to another Tesla supplier setting up shop in Texas would eliminate toxic expensive solvents used in aqueous coating in all sounds amazing on paper. Gary Coing, a battery material expert and associate professor of chemical engineering at the University of Virginia, cautioned that getting the cells into mass production at cost is another story. Here's what he said. He said, getting these things to be scalable is really hard. Coing says of Tesla's 10 gigawatt pilot plant, and you have to get to a high volume to bring those costs down and and that's not easy to do. Venkat Vishwanathan, battery researcher and associate professor of mechanical engineering at Carnegie Mellon University, agrees that battery day blended tangible gains with Elon Musk's familiar visionally speedballing, making it all hard to parse. It's difficult to separate the signal from the noise in these Tesla presentations, Vishwanathan said, but there is always signal. The question is how much? Still, I have no doubt they will be able to produce the cell at volume. He continued, he continued, more than any automaker, they have the talent to do it. The question really is how quickly, at what price point, safety levels and manufacturing defense, he said. As for chemistry, Vishwanathan said a nickel-rich, low-cobalt design will surely power pricier, longer-range models to take on rivals including the Lucid and General Motors, the later with its new nickel-intensive ultium battery cells. Regarding Tesla's vaguely stated diversified cathode strategy, Vishwanathan said it's possible that Tesla would build some lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries in the 4680 
format that chemistry once dismissed for its puny energy density is suddenly prized for low cost, long life and reassuring safety, especially for entry priced models. Tesla has already began selling Model 3s in China and Europe with Cattle's prismatic LFP battery cells for its electric cars. And on August 27, Tesla dangled LFP-powered versions of the Model 3 Standard Range Plus to Americans awaiting backlogged deliveries. Tesla contacted some reservation holders, offering them a car as early as September if they agreed to accept a Model 3 Standard Range Plus with an LFP pack with an estimated 253 mile range, 10 fewer miles than versions with 27, uh, 2170 batteries. Elon Musk himself stated that LFP may make up 50% of all lithium-ion cells in cars versus fewer than 10% today. Vishwanathan notes that by packing in more active battery materials via 46 AD battery cells and structural packs, LFP could enjoy a serious boost in driving range at an ultra affordable cost. So when might the world actually drive Tesla powered by the 4680 battery cells? The question takes on more urgency considering Tesla's frustrating record of tardiness. In late April, Elon Musk said battery was 12 months away from production if not 18 months. Existing suppliers including Panasonic, Cattle, LG Energy Solutions and SK Innovations may well deliver the 4680s before Tesla itself. Panasonic's new chief executive confirmed his company will make a large investment to build 4680 cells if they prove viable. After months of playing coy, Tesla finally confirmed in August that the Cybertruck's Texas rollout would be pushed back to 2022 due to battery shortages. That massively scaled pickup is one powered hungry candidate for the 4680 sales, along with the also delayed commercial semi truck. Cybertruck unveiled to great fanfare in 2019 will now be beaten to market by this year's GMC Hummer pickup, the Rivian R1T and perhaps even Ford's F-150 Lightning in 2022. Model Y SUV from Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are also in line for the 4680 battery cells built at those factories adjacent battery production, battery production lines. Tesla continues to hedge its bets, expanding existing contracts with Panasonic and other suppliers. Tesla's battery day targets, meanwhile, include a seemingly quixotic goal to ramp up battery production, including from supplier partners, to 3 terawatts by 2030. That's a nearly 100-fold jump from Tesla's current capacity in Nevada. It would be enough to supply 20 million annual Teslas or rival automakers by, who buy Tesla batteries versus roughly 500,000 global Tesla sales in 2020. Yet that ambition is driven by harsh reality. A global tsunami of electric vehicle demand threatens to outstrip battery supply, kneecapping EV production and adoption and delaying a climate critical switch from fossil fuels to electricity. Energy research company Wood McKenzie estimates electric vehicles will grow from 10 million on roads today to 100 million in 2030 and 400 million after 2040. Electric vehicles would hog 90% of battery demand over the next two decades. Even at Wood McKenzie's conservative estimate, battery demand would be about eight times as much as today's factories can deliver. To Tesla, it's all about a Marshall Plan level campaign to build not just battery factories, but factories that churn out more batteries more affordably for its own global domination of electric vehicle market to achieve Elon Musk's more altruistic goals. They have been constrained for years on batteries, Vishwanathan says. 
they see this as a critical piece of their growth story to meet the volume demand and they and the industry will have in coming years. Friends, let me know what you think. When do you think Tesla will come with 4680 batteries? This is Arvin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and to our community for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. And please give us thumbs up and share in social media. Tweet it out if you wish, if you find this report informative and useful. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. Let's love one another and do kind things to each other. And I'll see you soon in our next report.